You cannot run drop coverage. You cannot do it. Get James Harden out of the lane. There's Lester Canones is right there in backside help. If a skip pass is made, it's an easy recovery. You let James Harden have his dribble alive. First of all, Zubox rolls wide open right now because no one's in backside help. Podzemski Zoe's got to stand in the paint and wait for Zubok. So now you can't recover now on a skip pass to Terrence Mann. So it's swing, swing, Norman Powell, rip and go. Now you come up to trap. You've got to ice this screen. There's backside help. Canonez is coming up, waiting to help on Zubok's roll here. But you're coming up on the screen. There's no backside help. You got to keep James Harden to the other sideline. Well, where's your backside help? Just right to Zubak. Clippers have numbers. Easy. First of all, Gary Payton's going under the screen. Why is Draymond coming up to guard James Harden? Stay home. So, pff, I don't know why that happened. But now if you're Gary Payton, what you cannot do is lean towards the screen. Like that. I mean, could guys get back and trans... Could, why is Clay Thompson jogging back? Could you please sprint back with Terrence Mann? Uh, Andrew Wiggins sprint back. Jonathan Kuminga sprint back and not gamble. Look at this. Clay Thompson's walking back, and Jonathan Kuminga's got his back turned. For what reason? How's no one back? Is this real? I... Don't the Warriors work on this. Don't the Warriors talk about this in film, in practice. Steph Curry's coming to double James Harden. They're ISOing Klay Thompson. So why is Klay Thompson not forcing James Harden into the double? Does he know it's coming? Is it communicated from anyone? No, because pff, you're letting him go away from where Steph Curry's coming up to help you. This is truly mind-boggling. The half, the second half is just starting. Could Jonathan Kuminga get underneath Paul George and battle for position and get him out of the paint? Why is he letting Paul George off the opening inbound from the half just let him stand in the paint and seal him? Guess Andrew Wiggins is trying to ice this screen. Then you got to get all the way up and where's Draymond? You got to get underneath so Paul George is staying to the sidelines. Your backside helps right there for Zubak. But I mean, what? You're Wiggins. Stop gambling. Get up. And then where's Draymond Green? So you're trying to ice the screen, but you're letting Paul George dribble back to the middle of the floor. And that's over. I mean, it's unfortunate that Draymond Green is down injured on this play. But could Steph Curry start to get back right now? Could Klay Thompson get back right now? Could someone get back to at least foul so Draymond Green can get out of the game? Like, everyone just stood around looking. You're Gary Payton the second. Never. Never. You go over the top of the down screen. Where's Podzemski? You need to be attached and getting your arms out. Peyton the second goes up the gut. To never go up the gut. The angle. Now Podzemski's got to step up and guard the ball. Couldn't be easier. Again, Kevon Looney cannot just aimlessly stand underneath the basket out of a sideline out of bounds. What are you guarding against? Get to Mason Plumley. You're not, so they're going to inbound this ball, immediately set a ball screen, you're not even sort of ready to guard it because you were standing under the rim, collecting dust. Kavon Looney, again, you got to stay attached to Mason Plumley. Attached to Mason Plumley on this ball screen. Get up, attached to Plumley. You're guarding this screen. The screen is being set to Podzemski's right shoulder. You're guarding it like it's being set to his left shoulder. Wide open three. This is just detestable. What is Podzemski doing? What is What does Steve Kerr do? Get to the wing underneath Norman Powell. I'm still in help. Why are you standing at the top of the key? There is 3.5 seconds. There's under three seconds now in the quarter. Could Clay Thompson, like in transition, get up and guard the ball? Terrence Mann. You have help if you need it, which you're not. There's no time left. Why are you getting back to the free throw line, giving up an open three? Draymond Green is playing up on the screen. Cool. I would get all the way up and cut James Harden's dribble off with backside help with Jonathan Kuminga. But stop. James Harden just hesitated. So Draymond Green now can recover. Podzemski can guard one-on-one. -on -one. 
please recover, especially since nobody moved on the weak side of the floor to get in backside help. Draymond Green's just guarding the ball now for no reason. And now the Clippers have numbers. Steve Kerr clearly has no idea, nor do the Warriors go over, that you need backside help if you're icing a screen, which they are, if you're doing anything but switching. So Kuminga, get in backside help on Mason Plumlee's roll. Again, everyone's standing. You're keeping James Harden the sideline. If a skip pass gets made, you can recover. The second Plumlee touches this, because no one moves, it's now a two. Plumlee's wide open. Westbrook open again. Just cannot happen off a free throw. If you're Podzemski, you got to get over and stay in front of Westbrook. Your job is to stay in front of Westbrook. That is your one job. You're standing there in front of nobody. Here comes Westbrook swooping in from the other side of the floor. Gary Payton the second doubles Paul George in the post. Cool. Andrew Wiggins, you've got to be up the line and immediately ready to move right now. You've got to rotate over to Norman Powell on a skip pass. And then Peyton comes up to James Harden. Andrew Wiggins, not ready to rotate. You're staring at the ball. Late. Norman Powell's open. This is coaching. This is coaching. This is coaching. This is coaching. Jonathan Kuminga, back to the baseline, seeing ball, seeing man. Your back is never to the sidelines. You got your back to the sidelines. You're begging to get beat back door. Draymond Green is again hedging the screen here. You need backside help. It's not an option. It's not an opinion. You need backside help. Draymond Green does a nice job as soon as Paul George hesitates right there. He's recovering back. So you're going to be bumped back to James Harden in a matter of, in like a five-tenths of a second. But you got to be there for that five-tenths of a second before Draymond can recover. And you're not. So Zubox catching this. The Clippers again have numbers. that Steve Kerr. It's the same thing. Do the Warriors look at this the next day and just say everything's fine, everything's cool? Because this happens over and over again. First of all, if you're Draymond Green and you're hedging, I'd want to get all the way up to move Paul George towards half court. But you must have backside help. If a skip pass, that's why I want to get all the way up. So this skip pass is more difficult to make, pushing him out to half court. So Podzemski can easily recover. But backside help is not an option. And you don't have it again. You look at this. Two on one. Every time. Every time. Steve Kerr, Jonathan Kuminga gets beat off the dribble. So Draymond goes to double on the skip pass. Draymond's got to be sprinting back to Zubak. And then Podzemski, as that skip pass is being made, is sprinting to the corner knowing Draymond Green's coming back. It's what you work on. But Draymond Green walks back and Podzemski has just started to leave for the corner. Draymond Green has the right idea here. Getting in the gaps, rotating the ball. But you got to be there now. Your feet have got to be set so you can recover back to the three-point line. You can't wait. Look at Draymond Green's feet waiting. So now you're going towards the ball as this pass is getting kicked out. You have no chance of recovering now.